Well, how do you think Martin Luther King's teachings can help us today? That's a question that eight DISD students tried to answer in today's MLK oratory competition. Our photojournalist Mike Kinney shows us how these elementary students are, are aspiring to take up Dr. King's charge. When I look at this world, I feel as though we have been pulled apart. Racism is like cancer. You never give up the fight. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. When the world does not have an example of love, we must be that example. Dr. King has shown me the way so that I can end racism. From his death, he has been waiting for someone to take his place. Let me first seek to satisfy my own thirst for knowledge, freedom, and peace. By refusing to even sip from the symbolic cup of bitterness and hatred. And justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The time is always right to do the right thing. I will prove that I can take a peaceful stand like Dr. King. He showed us through his actions that people do not have to use violence to create change. Whether you're a blue state or a red state, whether you're a person of color or not, we are all humans. We will not overlook the urgency of the moment. We will hear the tireless cries of the future. We will be excited to help our fellow man. We will be the voice that comforts. We will be champions of a king's dream. We should use his examples and teachings to move this country in the right direction. We must be united. Believe, be real, be you. Thank you. Well, our future's in pretty good hands, right? That young man there at the end, that's Dominic Patermo. He's a fifth grader from Withers Elementary. He is this year's winner of the oratory competition. Congratulations to him and to all of the other participants. That's